Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am comfing cozy in front of the Christmas tree. And today I'm doing my winter 2023 body mist recommendations. So I have them all right in front of me. I have about like 13 mists. So I kind of have a lot, but I really, really love this year's picks. Like these are some of the best body mist discoveries. A lot of these are like new discoveries of like scents that I tried out this year. Not necessarily all new releases of this year, but just new to me and also new releases. I actually did my top 10 new releases of this entire year video. I just posted that, so I will link it up here if you're interested. But today I just have a really delicious lineup of mists that are going to make you smell so amazing for any holiday parties you have or just chilling with the family spending Christmas time or whatever holiday that you celebrate and I did want to preface this by saying these are only gonna be Bath and Body Works I do have Sol de Janeiro mist that I could include for this video and I do have Victoria's Secret but I've already done videos on those and because there isn't always so many new releases of Victoria's Secret I mean I know that there is now but to be honest I haven't been in a Victoria's Secret in a minute for mists I don't know why like their mists just don't appeal to me as much let me know if there's anything good there that maybe I need to check out. I just feel like all their mists and all their collections are like the same. They re-release the same collection over and over again. Maybe unpopular opinion, but it's my opinion. And as far as Sol de Janeiro, as far as like winter specific scents, I would definitely include Cheryl's a 71 in this video, but I've already included it in past body mist recommendations, especially for winter time. So I was like, I don't wanna be repetitive. So these are all mists I have not talked about in previous videos. Okay, so with all that being said, let's get straight into this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn post notifications on and let's get started. First off, I have Strawberry Snow flakes i picked the scent up this year i know it came out last year for the winter time and i know people went crazy for it it was such a loved scent but i didn't get the hype back then i think i went into bath and body works and smelled this and i was like this is just a repackage of strawberry pound cake like why are people going crazy over this scent but because i just heard so much hype around it i went this year again because they re-released it this holiday season in this beautiful packaging might i add i said this in a video where i hauled this but it reminds me of Barbie and the Nutcracker. So this packaging just feels really nostalgic to me. But I went and smelled this this year and I surprisingly really loved it. I do see the resemblance to strawberry pound cake, but now having this in my collection and I actually wearing it and even smelling them like side by side, I can tell you that they are not repackages. They are different. There are similarities, but they're different. This reminds me of those little strawberry candies. It reminds me of like strawberry milk or strawberry ice cream. It's that kind of strawberry scent. It's not as cakey as strawberry pound cake where that just feels more gourmand. This one is just like literal strawberry milk. It's delicious. It has notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. I don't really get the iced bergamot. I don't find anything about this citrusy or fresh but if I could take out that note the juicy strawberry and the whipped cream it is definitely that like have you guys ever had like strawberries and um, dip them in like cool whip that's one of my favorite snacks I freaking love cool whip that is like that kind of snack put into a body spray. Another so. very pink one. I'm really in the pink mood, I guess, this winter season, but this is champagne sprinkles. How many times do I have to talk about this freaking scent? I'm obsessed with champagne sprinkles. The name of this could not be more perfect because it quite literally smells like you dunked sprinkles in a glass of champagne and they just like soaked it all up. It has that effervescent bubbly sort of champagne scent, but then that sweet sugariness of the sprinkles. It's like the two just came together and made a baby. It is champagne sprinkles. This has notes of sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. It smells like the color pink. This is one of the best smells. Like I would love to have this scent as like a room scent, a car scent. I just want to have the scent all around me at all times and it is a bit of a heavier scent and a stronger scent and 
and I find it really perfect for this time of year because of that because on those cold days which we don't have very many of in Florida but you know what lately these past few days I don't know what's going on we've had this tropical storm who has a tropical storm in the dead of winter I don't know this is just Florida things so because of the storm we had so much wind and it kind of felt like winter a little bit so you just gotta you know work with what you got and pretend that it's winter and the past few days have felt like that and this has been such a cozy sugary sweet scent it's so girly it's so cute pair this up with like pink sugar and you have yourself the most girly combo ever by the way i just realized i don't know how i haven't put these two ever together but this combo this would be such an amazing layering combo i just realized that because i saw them over here laying together and i'm like I need to put those together so for these videos i try to do mists that are not like obvious holiday choices because clearly these scents come out every holiday season so obviously they're good winter time picks but i have to talk about vanilla b noel and i haven't talked about this in previous years because they've changed it if you know you know you already know the whole deal with vanilla b noel and how it has literally smelled rancid in previous years there's just i don't know what they did to this in previous years it was so bad and i was just waiting because this used to be back in the day like i mean like years ago this scent has been out for so long but back then it used to be so good it used to truly be vanilla bean noel like it just smelled like the creamiest true vanilla bean kind of scent and it also had this sort of holiday kick it was so comforting and cozy and delicious and then they reformulated somehow they changed it it was really bad the past few years but I'm including it in this year's pick because I think Vanilla B. Noel, like the good old days Vanilla B. Noel, I think she's back. I think they finally fixed whatever issue was wrong with it because now it just feels smoother. I can definitely smell more of that vanilla bean. There's not that weird gone bad type of scent. I don't think it's as strong. I think it's pretty soft. So that's the only thing about this that I don't love. I wish it was a lot stronger because I really have to overspray this every time I do wear it. But I'm just happy that it's back. One win at a time. This has notes of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. And it is all those notes wrapped into one so cozy has a bit of that holiday feel without being spicy if you love vanilla you need vanilla bean noel and let me do another winter specific scent that just came out this winter as well but i have to talk about this this is a new release and i know it was getting some controversial opinions because judging by the packaging and even the name you would kind of assume this to be more of like a gourmand scent like just a gingerbready cookie delicious kind of holiday gourmand and it is not that at all and i know people got very mad at this scent but i love the direction that they went with this they went in just more of a mature more perfume like scent with this body mist and i freaking love it this smells so good this smells like 100 bucks it smells like 200 bucks specifically it smells like 220 bucks and that is because this has been said to be this amazing dupe to ginger biscuit by joe malone which also came out during the season and i know that that's a limited edition scent and i was also hearing that it didn't last very long so you might as well save 220 dollars and walk on over to bath and body works and pick this scent up this has notes of golden gingerbread vanilla icicles and yuletide timber I have no idea what Yuletide Timber smells like, but whatever. This smells so good. Why is this giving me like Tom Ford perfume vibes? Like it is such a good scent. Do not be fooled by this packaging. I know it looks kitty and i'm sure the perfume snobs would look at this and be like are you serious that's your perfume but if you wore this and they didn't know that this is what you had on i assure you they'd walk up to you and be like what perfume do you have on it smells so expensive and then you tell them it's jolly gingerbread village and they probably lose their mind people don't think that body mist can live up to the hype of perfumes they're very wrong, but you know what? They can keep on believing that and leave us with these body spray hidden gems. Highly recommend Gingerbread Village. It is so good. Perfect level of spice, perfect level of sweetness, perfect level of perfumey sexiness. It's just so good. 10 out of 10, you need. Next, I have Whipped Coconut Milkshake. There's not really much more for me to describe about this scent other than it smells like a 
coconut milkshake. I feel like because you see coconut in the name, you would maybe associate the coconut with like a beachy scent, but it's not a beachy coconut at all. It's a winter coconut. It's a gourmandy, creamy kind of coconut, and it quite literally tastes not taste, what the heck? No, definitely don't taste your body mist. It definitely smells like a coconut milkshake. It has notes of vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. So imagine you had a bowl of vanilla ice cream and you sprinkle on a bunch of coconut, um, what are they, like coconut flakes, coconut shreds? So good, so creamy, so delicious. You knew I had to talk about fresh vanilla blossoms in this video. Don't be fooled by the fresh vanilla because it's not, in my opinion, a fresh vanilla. It is a delicious, creamy, chocolatey, almost like white chocolate kind of vanilla. And I say that because to me, every time I smell this, this reminds me so much of Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth, which has like marshmallow and white chocolate in it. This to me is like the body mist dupe of of Sweet Tooth. I will admit when this first sprays out, it's a little bit fresher than Sweet Tooth, but in the dry down, they are identical to me. And this is such a long lasting, powerful scent. You do have to kind of overspray to get it to that point because it is a body mist, but when you do that, it lasts so long. I've worn this to bed so many nights and I wake up smelling Scrum Deliumptious. And its sister, which came out in the same collection, is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This, I know, was getting compared to Fireside Flurries, but this is better. This is a million, trillion, bajillion times better than Fireside Flurries. It is such a cozy, comforting, boozy vanilla scent, but it also has a strong, sexy vibe about this. Like, I would literally wear this to a date night very easily, and I know my man would be all over it. This has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. It just has this dark, femme fatale, man-eater vibe about it where you look at it and it probably doesn't look like much but you wear it and you will feel so powerful so sexy i would wear this all year round but especially for this season because it's such a cozy warm sweet kind of scent this is amazing i think i just broke a body mist. and then this is kind of similar i mean it has a similar vibe it has a similar name like Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, and then we have Sweet Whiskey. This one has Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berry. So it's a little bit of a different vibe than Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. It smells pretty similar, but to me, this is less creamy, and this reminds me so much of the Commodity Milk line, which I have fallen in love with. It just has that toasty, like woody, smoky almost kind of scent of that entire milk line. Like this paired up with any of the milks. I love milk personally. Personal, and I think this is probably closest to the milk personal because it's not as strong as the expressive and it's definitely not as strong as the bold one This just feels like more of a close to the skin type of mist But it still has that sweet vanilla woody type of kind of smoky vibe and those berries are so good in here because it feels like those berries were just soaking in whiskey and it just has all of that delicious aroma. This is another one that's really like mysterious, sexy, nighttime-y kind of vibes, like total date night kind of a fragrance. Another new release that I had to include that I'm definitely gonna be wearing all winter season and probably even all year round. This is Ballet Nights. This came out in that whole ballet core collection and this is definitely my favorite. I know it was a lot of people's favorites because it's just something about this freaking scent. Bath & Body Works has been doing so good at bringing very perfumey body mist. Sure, they have those, you know, more typical fruity kind of fresh, just stereotypical more body spray smelling kind of scents. But I feel like lately with all these new collections and all these new mists, they have been so perfumey. And I know that word comes out of my mouth a lot lately, but that's because their scents have just been so perfume-like that I can't not point that out. And Ballet Nights is another very strong perfume vibes kind of scent. Like she's just giving luxury vibes. This does not smell like the price point that it has. This has notes of wild plum, glowing amber, and tonka cream. This reminds me so much of Dark Kiss. Like, can anyone tell me if you guys are also getting that? I get a strong patchouli scent in this. Not strong in a bad way, because I really like it. I think it's really sexy, but I swear I smell patchouli in here. And I think that's ultimately what's giving this that strong perfume-like scent that it has. This is perfect for like a holiday party maybe that you're going to or I don't know, holiday dinner, something like that. I feel like it's more of like a fancy dress up 
kind of occasion type of scent. Next up I have a classic. This one is definitely all year round, but I love it for this time of year. This is Fall in Bloom and I think this came out for the fall season and it's even called Fall in Bloom and I feel like the name is kind of misleading on this because it is not fall at all. This is a complete dupe of Burberry Hurt. Literally spot on when I say dupe, I mean they are one in the same. They smell exactly the same to me. And I know Burberry Hurt also gets compared to Ariana Grande's Cloud and of course Baccarat Rouge. So this falls into that family and all those scents, they're for me very like all year round type of scents, I don't care, but for the winter time specifically and just those colder days, they just have this coziness to them that I freaking love and this one specifically is that kind of cozy Baccarat Rouge kind of sweet smell, but it also has a strong fruity kick about it, which is why it's a great dupe to Burberry Her, which is basically like the scent of Baccarat Rouge, but you mix in strawberries. Now instead of the strawberry, this one has juicy plum and wild blooms and velvet moss. I feel like the notes in this just don't do that good of a job at describing what this smells like because I don't think this smells like velvet moss and wild blooms, I don't even know what that is. Juicy plum, yeah, maybe, but I feel like instead of plum, I get more of a strawberry vibe to this. If you want like a perfume version to Burberry Her, get Fall in Bloom. Next up, I have Among the Clouds. This was a discovery of this year and I think it's been around in previous years also, and I don't know how I missed out on this scent, but I actually picked this up for the summer SAS, and I was so blown away by this scent. This one is a little bit more of a typical body mist spray scent. It's not as perfumey as some of these others, but it smells so good. It reminds me so much of Paris Amour and Paris Amour, let me not even get started on Paris Amour because that scent was my signature in like middle school. I freaking loved it and I know Paris Amour has been discontinued and they've never brought it back because if they had, I would have snatched up so many and I actually bought one on Amazon and I think it was, I mean, I don't know if it was authentic or if it was like really old, but it just didn't last. It literally smelled like water, so like nothing. It had maybe like a drop of Paris Amour in it, but it was very, very light and barely smelled like it. And this one, when I got this, it just brought me back all that nostalgia because it totally smells like Paris Amour. This has wildberry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. It's more like a fun, fruity, vanilla, sweet, kind of girly scent. It's not that complex. It's not as perfumey, like I said, as some of these. It doesn't smell super expensive or whatever, but I love this kind of vibe sometimes, you know, perfumey scents are great, but I also love me a good, just girly girl body spray. And that's what this is. If you are a Paris Amour girly, let me know in the comments. And then the last full size that I have in this collection is Whipped Rose Latte. I love this scent. Every time I smell it, it makes me think of being in a coffee shop and there's like a snowstorm outside and you're just cozying and doing your work in the coffee shop. You have a warm latte right next to you. That's what this reminds me of. But Whipped Rose Latte is a rose latte. So this is not gonna be as sweet as you would think because that rose just gives this a perfumey kick and I know that this has been said to be a little bit of a dupe for Intense Cafe by Montel. It's definitely not as strong. It's definitely like the super, super watered down version of that, if anything, but it does have a little vibe to Intense Cafe. I never thought I would like rose and coffee put together, but it works. This has notes of crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. So yeah, it's literally a rose latte. Never had a rose latte, but if I could imagine, I feel like this is exactly what a rose latte would smell like. And then the very last scent is just a little mini. I don't know why they don't bring this scent out in a full size. Have they ever had this in a full size? I don't know. This is Merry Cookie. Definitely there's a time and a place for this scent. I know Christmas cookies came out a few years back. I don't think they are complete dupe. Christmas cookies is really good. And I would have included it in this video, but I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in previous years. So I wanted to kind of focus on Scents that I haven't talked about in this video, but Mary Cookie's great. Definitely has that strong gourmand cookie kind of scent to it. And Mary Cookie is kind of the same, but this smells to me like you're eating warm, freshly baked 
ooey gooey cookies but you're like dunking them in milk because this just has more of a creamy lactonic vibe to it and I don't know what the notes are because in these minis there's never any notes it's a really fun scent and surely it's not a scent that I would wear like going out normally I like to smell more perfumey and sexy for going out but for like Christmas morning unwrapping gifts or baking cookies with your family or something like that kind of occasion just more of a cozy staying in you know that warm Christmas spirit kind of vibe. That is the time and the place for Merry Cookies. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these winter body spray recommendations. Let me know what are your top picks that you're wearing this winter. And it could be Victoria's Secret. It could be other mists that I don't know about. I really want to venture out and test some more mists that are not Bath & Body Works. So let me know if there's anything good out there. But that is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.